Hi, I'm Flynn McGarry, and I'm the chef of Gem, which is a restaurant in New York City. I'm not there today because we're closed, so I'm in my home kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how to make a pasta dish. So here we have our ingredients for today. Um, we're gonna make a pasta, super, super simple. Um, the sauce is fresh tomatoes, anchovies. You gotta use anchovies. I don't care if you don't like them. Just put them in, you won't notice them. If your friend doesn't like them, just don't tell them about it. Hide it in there. They're gonna be like, why is this so good and tasty? Do it to my girlfriend all the time. Don't tell her. We have a lemon. Uh, it'll bring a lot of acidity to the sauce. Some garlic, very classic. We're using trophy, which is one of my favorite uh, shapes of pasta. It has a nice chew to it. Uh, you can use anything like this to penne, to spaghetti, you know, whatever you want. Um, so, time to get cooking. Okay, so we're heating up our pots right now uh, to make our sauce and to cook our pasta. Um, I'm using Lake Crusade pots. The enamel doesn't chip at all. Um, the colors look great in my kitchen and the heat distribution is amazing. So you can cook everything perfectly on them. Coating up our tomatoes, just into quarters, like that. This is just gonna help them break down much easier when we're making the sauce. We have six tomatoes in there. We want two big cloves of garlic. And then you're just gonna kind of rough chop it. You don't want any really big chunks of the garlic in your sauce. So just kind of make sure they're pretty broken up. Okay, so now that we have the garlic getting ready like that. We take our anchovies. These are Ortiz. Um, these are in olive oil. Uh, I like the ones in olive oil because the ones in salt add a little bit too much salt. That's kind of uncontrolled to the dish. And these are just really kind of sweet and savory. So depending on your level of anchovy, uh, you can add two, you could add one, I'm adding three. It's sort of the beginning of a kind of traditional Italian sauce called uh, bagna cauda. So it's anchovies, garlic, and lemon zest fried in olive oil. One of my favorite salad dressings, whatever you might um, put it on, you can put on artichokes, cook vegetables in it, it's just delicious on everything. Um, so we're kind of using that as the base and then adding tomatoes to it to turn it into a sauce. So we're gonna zest the whole lemon just right onto this little pile. Save that for later. And now just get chopping. So you can see in here, everything's kind of caramelizing around, and then we're just gonna add our tomatoes. You're gonna add your first round of basil. So I like basil in really big chunks. I'm just kind of add a really nice flavor throughout the whole thing. And you wanna kind of rip it and rub it and bruise it so your hands smell like basil. It'll bring out all the essential oils while you're cooking the dish. So right when everything's in and it gets going, uh, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Just add a little bit in the beginning, um, the sauce, can tend to get kind of salty because of the fish. Um, and you want to just control that. We're going to start it on a high heat um, to get things caramelized, to get the tomatoes burst, um, and then we're going to reduce it down and let it simmer just for about 10 minutes. Um, so we're about to drop our pasta in. Okay, uh, now that our sauce is almost done, we're like a couple minutes in. I think this, is, this has been like 10 minutes. So you just got to keep stirring it so the bottom doesn't burn. Um, now we're going to add our pasta. I'm using this Le Creuset uh, Dutch oven. Um, you want something that's really big, so there's a lot of space between all the pastas. Um, this also holds heat really well, so the water is gonna stay boiling the whole time. We salted the water. It's been 15 minutes, the sauce is really caramelized. Our pasta is perfectly cooked al dente. Now it's time to mix. I like to use one of these. It's like a hand strainer versus just straining your pasta because you're going to need this water to make the sauce so nice. So strain it. Don't worry about straining it too much because you want some of that water. Okay, so our pasta's in. A little bit more salt. This is my favorite thing ever. Um, stores butter. Nice scoop of butter. I promise you it's necessary. It's what makes the sauce really creamy. Okay, so now, if you want to keep your kitchen cleaner than me, you can just use a spoon. So the butter and the sauce kind of created this creamy layer around the pasta. It's perfect, needs a little bit more salt. And then, right as you finish, 
your second bit of basil. Think of the basil almost like spinach. You're just wilting it into the dish. My plate right here. And then just grate some Parmesan cheese over the top. The sauce coats the pasta really well and uh, you can't even really taste the anchovies in it. <laughs>